Welcome to Continued Open Capture webinar. My name is Mikkel Reisbull. I'm a senior product specialist at Continued Software. Today we review how to set up automatic purchase allocation in Dogma Capture. Besides the walkthrough of the setup, we will register, approve and post a couple of purchase invoices to see that the setup is working as expected. Before we really get started, let's see what we have on today's menu. Our session today is based on our demo portal that is available to all partners. We will be using NAP 2016 with Dogma Capture 406. Some columns and fact boxes have been adjusted to fit today's webinar. I have already made the basic setup of Dogma Capture and other areas within standard NAV. The most important subject is of course that we're going to use go to set up the purchase allocation. During today's webinar, today's session, we'll be testing the setup, registration, approval and posting. As always, you'll get a glimpse of some of the new features in the next version of Dublin Capture. Those of you who already work with Dogma Capture are probably familiar with the posting setup in NAV and the general setup and configuration of Dogma Capture. It is precisely with this setup that we start today's webinar. The setup of purchase allocation in Dogma Capture consists of Dogma Capture setup, posting setup DC, minimum 1GL account and a bit of template setup. The general document capture setup holds the basic parameters for purchase allocation, such as manual or automatic post of the purchase allocation. It is important to clarify how the cost amount is to be posted in the general ledger. The choice determines which cost registration account you are going to use. When taking a look at the general posting setup DC and vendor posting group DC, we also find options relating to purchase allocation. These settings correspond to the well-known general posting setup in standard NAV. This setup exclusively relates to the capture purchase documents that are to be pre-allocated. Before Dogma Capture can post any purchase allocation entries, there must be at least one tier account available. It is recommended to use two or more accounts, one account for the cost and one account for the vendor debt. The last place where purchase allocation has to be configured is on the template card. The allow registration without amounts in the panel purchase document must be enabled if you want to register documents without applying an account in the document trigger. The setup of purchase allocation in document capture is carried out via the menu items located under departments, administration, application setup, document capture. Let's get started with the setup. The first thing we look at is the Dogma Capture setup. I open the panel Purchase Approval and activate Automatic Post Purchase Allocation. Then I choose which type of amount to use for the purchase allocation. Here I have to decide whether it is the invoice total amount 
on the individual lines that is used for creating the purchase allocation entries. I choose always use imported amount. In today's first scenario, we want to post the purchase allocation cost on the same balance account every time. I fill in the field purchase allocation GL account number with the desired account number. In this case, I use one of my new accounts, General Ledger account 5960. Remember that the account must be set up with appropriate posting groups. Since the value in the field purchase allocation amount to use is configured with always use imported amounts, the costs are always posted on this account, 5960. The next thing you need to have in place is the account the debt is to be registered on. This is set up under vendor posting group DC. Here I fill out the list with the vendor posting groups and GL accounts that fit together. If desired, you can set up an account for each vendor posting group, but it, it's also possible, as in my example, to use the same GL account for all vendors when posting the debt. I choose account 5950 for domestic, EU, and foreign. The last thing I need to adjust is the possibility, possibility to register a purchase invoice with, without having to apply an account. This is set up on the template card. I open the purchase document panel on the master template and activate allow registration without amount. And answer yes to update vendor specific templates. This allows registration of purchase documents, even though no account has been entered in the document journal. Now the setup is complete and Dotton Capture is ready to register purchase invoices with purchase allocation. The first document from Lewis Home Furniture is ready for registration. Please note that the account on the invoice is set to AD130. I register the document and send it for approval. At the same time as the invoice is sent for approval, the purchase allocation is created and posted. Let's see what document capture has posted. In the ribbon navigate, I choose allocations. The information in this window tells me that the allocation document and allocation entries have been created. To view the entries, I just open the allocation document. Here I can clearly see that 4,500 pounds are posted on account. 5960, which is my purchase allocation account. But what about the vendor debt and the VAT amount? Tapping the navigate button, I can quickly find all related entries to the document. By showing the related entries, it's clear to see the allocation entries are posted completely as expected. Let's get the invoice approved and posted so we can see how the purchase allocation is handled. I'm updating the website. 
everyone. I approve the invoice. And it's ready to be posted. What has happened to the invoice now that it is posted? We swiftly steer over to the chart of account and take a look at the entries for purchase allocation account 5960. Here I see two lines. First the purchase allocation in debit, followed by the reversal in credit. To little navigate, you see that all the three entries are re reversed in the same accounts on the same day. What about the invoice? Is it posted on the right expense account that we set up? Open the invoice list and tap navigate to show the related entries. Everything is in perfect order and with peace of mind I can continue with my next assignment. Now it's time to change some of the setup. The field purchase allocation amount to use is changed to use lines or imported amount. Furthermore, I choose use accounts and purchase lines in the purchase allocation deal account field. These two settings make the purchase allocation look at the accounts on the purchase lines and post the allocation entry on these accounts. The document from Electronic Limited is ready for registration. The document has been set up with line recognition and translations, ensuring that three lines are created on the purchase invoice. Account 8230, 8330, and 8210. I register the document and send it for approval. Let's see what's posted. The navigator ribbon, choose allocations. I view the document, the allocation document. And here it's clearly to see that the three lines are posted on the right accounts. If we quick navigate, I'm going to find all the related entries to the document. The purchase allocation is posted complete as expected. Let's get the invoice approved and posted so we can see what happens to the purchase allocation. I approve the invoice and the invoice can be posted. Let's take a look at the TL account 8210 office supplies. Here we see three lines. First we have the purchase allocation in debit, followed by the actual cost in debit, which is posted with the invoice number, this, this document number. And the last entry, the reversal, the purchase allocation in credit. To so navigate, you can see that uh, all their entries have been reversed on the right accounts on the right date. Everything is in perfect order 
And with a smile on my lips, I continue with the next task. Once again, we are going to adjust the setup. The value in the purchase allocation GL account is changed to use posting setup. This setting makes the purchase allocation post the entries on the account specified in the general posting setup DC. By looking at the posting groups on the purchase invoice, double capture selects the appropriate GL account. This is this, uh, the setup for handling this is configured under General Posting Setup DC. Here I fill out the list with the necessary business posting group, product posting groups, and GL accounts. If desired, you can set up a specific account for each combination. And in today's example, I choose to create two combinations each with a different account for allocation of the costs. I choose Business Postings Group National, Product Posting Group Miscellaneous, and Account 5961. In the next line, I enter National, No VAT, and Account 5962. The next document from Lewis Home Furniture is ready for the registration. I register the document and set it for approval. Let's see what's posted. Once again, the navigate ribbon, choose allocations, view the allocation document. And you clearly see that the line that is, is posted on the right account. 5961. The account was selected in the general posting setup based on the information found on the invoice. In connection with the closing of account, accounting periods, it may occur that posting in a previous month is not permitted. The purchase allocation function is, of course, taking care of this. When it's not possible for the purchase allocation to reverse the allocation entries with the same date as it was originally posted, document capture ensures that the reversal is completed with the new posting date that you apply to the invoice. Let's see how that works. First, we limit the allowed posting dates by typing the first posting date allowed. In this case, the first day of 2016. The last invoice from Lewis Home Furniture is still pending approval. Let's approve it. Because the, day, the invoice is dated in 2010 and the posting of documents in that year is blocked, I have to change the posting date to a valid date in the open fiscal year. And post the invoice. What happened to the location entries? Let's look at the deal account. I go to the chart of accounts, open the list of entries for account 5961. When looking at the entries, it's very clear to see that the reversal of the allocation entry is posted with a new date. Everything is 100% correct.
This was a review of how to set up purchase allocation for document capture for all six. Before we move over to the questions, I'll be spending a moment talking about some of the new features in the upcoming version of document capture. The next version of document capture contains many improvements and nice functions. I will briefly highlight two of the new features related to setting up users. If document capture is configured with standard approval flow and the company would like to have four eyes approval, this has until now not been possible. With version 407, the four eyes approval is also available for the standard approval flow. Sometimes the setup of approvals is a bit time consuming, especially if the users are to have access to the approval functions in multiple companies. In the next release, we introduce a new function, making it very easy to set up approvers in several companies. When approval is created in one company, you can copy the user setup to another company with a single click. The user setup in the other company can of course be modified if needed. We expect to release document capture 407 by the end of 2016. And remember, upgrading document capture is always easy and quickly completed. So, what have we been through today? First, we set up automatic purchase allocation for the purchase documents. Then we registered, approved and posted some invoices. We gained insight into how Dublin Capture handles the allocation entries, including what happens when the fiscal period is closed. And we also took a brief look at some of the new features in version 407. 